They call it the front line, but it's not a front line for us. We're, it's bedside. We're providing care. There are no bullets. And so we don't expect people to die by showing up to work. Also very well trained, very ingrained, and we work hand in glove with each other. Uh, you know, sometimes they're setting the, the, the pace and sometimes we're following as doctors and, and vice versa. My staff was amazing, holding hands. They, I don't think anybody died alone in my emergency room. Uh, I, people would just stop what they're doing and they would get to that bedside to honor that individual. I normally take care of 22 patients and the maximum patients we went up to was 84 in critical care. We are literally in the storm sometimes, so I tell my staff, be the calm in the storm. The songs that play when a patient is discharged are very meaningful to our staff. And when a patient leaves the hospital, it helps with us knowing it's our patient. He's gonna be leaving after 61 days. And we are so grateful to the amazing staff. Everybody, there's so many doctors, nurses, the cleaning staff, they saved his life twice. He was on the ventilator twice. And we're so grateful. I feel so much better. Thanks to everybody here, all the nurses and doctors. They saved my life. bad even leaving to go eat because these patients are so sick that it like you don't even want to leave sometimes just to take a breath or even because you feel like that 10 seconds you leave those are 10 seconds that patient will need you you don't realize how much a hug means until you can't get one or give one you had to put yourself there even more so because they had no one there so there wasn't even like an emotional distance that you can kind of normally put and I think that was hard. If it was my loved one, I would want somebody being there for that. Thank you. Thank you. You look great, Tony. You look awesome. Thank you. We could not fail our community. We had to figure out ways to solve problems quickly. We had to work as teams. The reason you're here risking your, your health and your family's health is so that person can go home and go back to their family. You know, we never never wanted to be heroes. You know, we, we got into nursing and the healthcare profession because we like people and we like to help them. And it was a total team effort. Let's say this was the drill of the lifetime. You're in the middle of it and you're doing what you have to do. You know, we get through the day, we cry, we move on. Then I would pass off my shift to the next charge nurse and do a huddle and prepare for what they were going to come into. You just try to do the best you can for as many people as you can. Show your support for the front lines and make a donation to Mount Sinai South Nassau today.